So this question says, if 40% of a given number is 8, then what is 15% of the given number? So this is a translation question. Right? So it's a little bit different from a strategy that I call translate word problem, although we could technically put them into the same category. Now, what makes this different from a long word problem? Well, first of all, it's a short question. Second of all, pretty much the entire question, right, this entire sentence can be translated into mathematical, a mathematical language. Um, so let's see how we do that. So if 40% of a given number is 8, well, what does that mean? Of means multiply. 40% always means the decimal version. So we have 0 0.40 times. And then a given number, do I know what that given number is? No, I don't. So I'm going to call it x. And maybe I should use a dot form of multiplication. Is is equals, right? So is translates into equals and then 8. So I could turn if 40% of a given number is 8 into 0 0.40 x equals 8. Then the next part says, then what is 15%? So 15% again is 0 0.15 of the given number. So 0.15x equals question mark. So here is the translation of what I just read. So I'm looking to, I'm seeking to answer this question, but here's basically the information that's provided. So I can solve for x here by dividing both sides by 0 0.4. I can go to my calculator. So in my calculator, I see that 8 divided by 0 0.4 equals 20. So therefore, x equals 20. So now I take this x equals 20, and I take it down here, which is the actual question, right? So now I'm saying, well, what is 0 0.15 times 20? What is 15% of 20? And that answer, again, when you put that in your calculator, 0.15 times 20, the answer we get there is 3. Therefore, the final answer for us is choice C.